Okay. Okay. So, um, hello everyone. Welcome to this um, video. I hate that start, but that's just how it's going to be. Okay, so it's been quite a while now since I did a video last, and I haven't really done any commentaries and such. Uh, I always blame it on the internet, but not this time because I actually have something to show off. So, um, I guess you don't know this, but I have been doing some programming lately on this games project called Lord of Rigel. Sorry about all this shit, by the way. Uh, and Lord of Rigel is... Oh, okay, that was new. Okay. Uh, Lord of Rigel is like a really cool 4X game I'm uh, developing with some other people I know. And, um, yeah, we've been working on this for like, I know, the last six months or so, since June of 2014, so last year. Um, that's when I met him from Reddit. Reddit is a awesome place. Shout out. Okay, so uh, what I plan for this video, I don't really have a plan. I guess I'll just do something that's, I don't know, around 10 minutes or something. But you don't need to know that. Okay. Um, so yeah, we have indeed uh, released a demo of this game, which is also kind of why I want to like, you know, just basically show it off. And um, let me just go to the build pass. And yes, this is a... Um, soon to be 4x game we're relatively early in development but you know can't hurt to like just get it out there and show it off a little bit this is why i'm doing this you know can't hurt sorry about breathing into the microphone by the way kind of trying a new setup okay so um as you may already saw here, okay. Uh, either way, um, this is made in the Unity engine. Uh, we tried, like we hoped to develop our own thing using um, something called Panda 3D in uh, Python, but we decided Unity is the way to go. At least at the time we thought that. And we're still going strong and, you know, it has its problems, of course. Um, but it's been working great thus far, so we'll just keep on using it takes a couple of seconds to load up all in all the demo is about 500 megabytes or so if you want to download it from our website which i'll leave a annotation right here now wow that's loud <laughs> sorry uh just gonna turn down the volume oh that window does oh yeah that's actually a known bug okay welcome to lord of rigel uh, this is our menu, and right now in the public release, we have something we call the Galaxy Demo. Uh, the Galaxy Demo is just what it sounds like. Um, we're kind of trying to like mimic a game called Master of Orion 2 with Lord of Rigel. And as you will see here, it, it's, it's very much the same, you know. You have a nice interface uh, for the generator. Um, of course, some of these buttons doesn't do anything right now, just because we're not f that far into development yet. Like, difficulty doesn't do anything, opponents doesn't do anything, um, tech level doesn't do anything. But, you know, anomalies, age, size, and shape, and richness as well, does do stuff right now. Um, because that's, like, that's something the generator can use to generate a galaxy. So, you know, just as a show-off, I guess, I'll choose... Legendary, which is the biggest galaxy, and a spiral, just because I think they look pretty. Press accept, takes a couple of seconds, and the music stopped. Okay, here we have it. In like two or three seconds, it made this. This, everyone, is our galaxy demo. The galaxy demo features our galaxy generator. Um which is some place you can, oh, sorry, <laughs> which is somewhere where you can explore the Lord of Rigel galaxy. All of this is, um, I don't know if procedurally generated is the right term, but yeah, I think so. It, it's generated when you press the button using a seed, and we also have load and save functionality, actually. Um, so yeah, this is the biggest galaxy, 1,024 stars, 
Uh, you got Nebula. You have everything you expect. Uh, many different star types. And of course, they have names, which are cool. Now, something cool. This is, of course, not the whole demo, which would be kind of boring. Is that if you press a star, it'll kind of go into here, which is our system view. System view shows you what's in any given system. It also has like different data. Like you can see here, uh, root on prime, which is prime because it's the first planet, um, at least closer to the star, uh, which has a five max population. It's ultra poor and normal gravity. And we also have like, you know, uh, gas giants with rings, which also shows up as like a um, modifier in the text box there. And all sort of cool information. Um, here you have Ruton, which is, you know, large M-type star. Uh, fairly common in the common galaxies. And if I have to say so, the game is absolutely stunning. Like, we just have some cool shader effects and such. Uh, lens flares. I just think it's kind of cool to look at planet eclipses. Just see the planet coming up. And in front, and then. I just think it's generally a nice, relaxing game to look at. Uh, our planets, of course, we have atmospheric shaders for the planets that need that. We have many different types of gas giants. Um, and you know, all of this is still a work in progress. I think it's important to mention. But yeah, if you ask me, this is pretty darn cool, right? And all of the the um stars have a system not everyone ha maybe has planets but you know you can still press them this is a um neutron star and they usually don't have planets it's possible for them to have planets it's even possible for stars to have um companion stars which i think is you know really cool here we have tenant and what i think is kind of cool um, 10 and 2, 10 and 3. What I think is kind of cool is that we actually have like a huge file um, with thousands upon thousands of different names that you can recognize from sci-fi series from, you know, the last couple of decades. You know, we got names from um, Babylon 5, Battlestar Galactica, Star Trek, Star Wars, you know, just general sci-fi names and they're all used to populate the galaxy, which I think is awesome. <laughs> we also have some, you know, other names here, like... I don't recognize this from any series, but no, Abba, the famous Swedish band. Uh, you know, you may have some names here that people recognize. We got loads of names, and I just think it's kind of cool sometimes just to look around, you know. Uh, what I haven't shown off is the Nebulas, which I will do now. Um, it's like, let's say Zerain, which is inside the nebula, click, and here you have it, the nebula actually loads up in system view, which I think is really cool. And of course the nebula will affect the gameplay, uh, these are indeed volumetric nebula, if I remember correctly. And yeah, I, I absolutely love what the art team has done, the project leads, you know, programmers. They've done this, made this into like a really cool game. I gotta say, there's been some changes from the build I'm showing you now. Um, mainly the skybox, because everything here is black now, unless I go all the way in. And that's in the wrong, do actually have a proper skybox now. So that's got fixed, you know. But yeah, that's everything I think I've got time for in this video. I will make sure to post updates on the development process. Um, sorry. If I go back to the main menu, uh, you know, we can continue games, load games. We have a lot of functionality in place. Um, also, keep in mind, this is a pre-pre-alpha. Still a very much work in progress. Uh, we barely, you know, start making soundtracks for uh, the Galaxy, the Skirmish, which is the next, will release, you know, main menu music here. Um, we got a really good team working on this. Um, just as a kind of teaser, you know, we'll release the 
I guess the second like true iteration of the demo um, in a couple of weeks. I'll make sure to post links when that's up and going. And um, that'll include our tactical demo. Um, and, you know, it's been a hard, we have a hard road up ahead of us, but I'm certain we'll make this. So yeah, until next time. Um, <laughs> wow, that's perfect. Yeah, until next time, uh, I'll make sure to to post updates. <laughs> wow, that was actually perfect. That you know that just showcases we're still a very much work in progress, pre alpha. Um, but hey, at least it's working. Until next time, I'm Tuxnet, and thank you for checking out this video. Bye.